Good morning, good morning. How's everybody doing? Who knows when you're watching this, if it's morning or not. But uh, this is something I haven't felt uh, since 9.30 yesterday uh, is downhill. Uh, today is July 11th, 2023, and it's my 10th and trail, 132 overall. And I hope I can do this. I'm going down pretty steep, it looks okay. Uh, what can I say about yesterday? I thought about it a lot. I'm so proud of myself. You know, a lot of days are just like monotonous or whatever, and you do some cool things, but that was so hard. I, I can't tell you how hard the eight miles downhill was. It doesn't sound like it, but it really was. And then I started up at 10 o'clock in the morning and didn't get to camp to 7, 10 p.m. And to show you how hard it was, you now why I told you last night that I didn't think I was gonna make it, to be honest with you, is because four miles in, I was cooked, I was spent. I couldn't really go much further. And somehow I got it out 10 miles. It was so steep. And um, yeah, like this trail right here is nice and smooth. It's got compact dirt. It wasn't like that, full of rocks. And uh, about two and a half, three miles in, I didn't really show, I showed you the bridge. The bridge, it's the foundation's there, but the wood burnt, so you had to cross. And it was so dangerous and it's exactly what i don't like it was a big log but it was uh, where you first start to cross it's really up high it was going very steep downhill to the other side over a river i had a bunch of knots and branches in the way so you couldn't really walk oh my gosh was that scared i went super super slow and just inched my way across but man if i fell i was in bad i probably was done so i did that that was early on and then down low, you know, it's always hotter down low. It was so hot with no wind. And basically for 14 miles, I stopped every, you know, 50 feet to 200 feet to catch my breath. My legs were just burning. And just, and the Dixie fire went through here. You can see it's all burnt here where I am right now. And uh, it just torched the place. And so the amount of junk and crap and shrapnel that's on the ground from the trees and disarray and blow downs and it's crazy so it's not even you're going straight up but you're just spending all day dodging stepping over things and you know I cut my knee and bled you know that I went through a river I didn't show it went through a river there's just no way to cross it on rocks that kept dry all day and then I figured oh what a waste of time because there's one river you can't you, there's nowhere to get across so I had to go and it was I'm pretty tall, it was knee deep and really strong. But I made it. Uh, today's gonna be, I think, much kinder and gentler. It looks like it, possibly two climbs, but only about, you know, compared to what I just did, it's all relative, right? It's gonna seem great. Uh, not very much, but I'm going to either the, around the 18 mile mark, or if I do a little climb at the end and get to the 21 and a half mile or so, uh, I only have 10 miles in tomorrow to Chester, all downhill cruising in. So I'm going for that, but I don't know what I have in the tank today. I'm going to be honest with you. Next month, I'm going to be 61. And I don't know, it's so funny. It's, you know, this is my fifth year out here and I can feel the difference. It's not, it's very gradual, but you can definitely feel the difference. But how's like that tent slide I had last night? Uh, I was so tired last night and the bugs were attacking me. I didn't film it last night, but a great sunrise this morning. And I think that's Mount Lassen. I'm really excited, although it's completely, well, a lot of it's charred, about 80% of it. Uh, we're gonna walk through about 100 miles of burn. Uh, shows you how devastating it is. Uh, before I got to Quincy, the last town I was in, it was burned. This whole section's burned. When I get to Lassen, it's mostly burned. I think there's a few parts of the trail where it, the fire didn't get, but yeah, it's pretty sad. There are a lot of green trees left over, so the forest will re recoup you know and and rebuild again but not in my lifetime today is mostly kind of flat and roly-poly with like i said two climbs and then uh maybe camp on top of a peak if you're ready for it i'm the first one of the day so there's spider webs everywhere same with yesterday it's a bummer uh i didn't first time ever i didn't see a soul yesterday really shocking uh I mean, when I went into Belden Town, there was a guy there and I asked him about something, but he works there. But I'm talking like on the trail, I haven't seen one soul, I haven't seen a tent, I haven't seen anybody. So we'll see what happens today. These young kids can hike faster than me, but all right. That's it, thanks for listening. We'll see you on the trail.
Well, I guess this is the video day for lots of talking. It's 11 o'clock. Uh, I just had a really interesting interaction with somebody and honestly, it pissed me off. I'm on a flat area, just going flat in the million burnt trees, like real dense burnt trees. And I'm looking down this and that, make sure I don't step on something wrong. And what's coming at me in front of me, a mountain bike full blast. And he's a perfectly nice guy, he's a local. So he stops and he goes, hey, what's up? And he's small talking. And pick a great spot for you. But uh, he goes, hey, what's up? And he's small talking. So I just interrupt him and go, you do realize that bikes are not allowed on this trail? That it's only horses or people? Oh, I know, I'm a rebel, man. I'm a rebel. The guy was older than me. He was close to 70, in good shape, you know. You can tell he mountain bikes a lot. And I'm looking, I'm like, what do you mean you're a rebel? You know, I didn't say it, but I was like, what do you mean you're a rebel? He's like, I'm up here all the time. And I'm like, it's a big fine if you get caught. He's like, oh, they won't catch me. Then he goes, this is weird. He goes, what are you doing? I go, I'm hiking the PCT. And he goes, oh, where are you going? I go, do you know of the PCT? He goes, yeah, yeah. I know it. Go, well, one of the premises to go from Mexico to Canada. He goes, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I told him that, you know, you scared the hell out of me because uh, there's no bikes out here. In my seven years of hiking sections on the PCT, I've seen a bike one other time. And people are usually respectful about that. Yeah, yeah, he's laughing like it's funny. Anyway, I have to go up a bit steep hill, but it's amazing, I haven't seen another hiker yet. Now we've got a day and a half going, but I saw a mountain biker. Yeah, I guess this will be the talking video, but uh, you know, really, except for some of those lava rocks you saw, which were really amazing. It's just, it's a shame. The views from far away, you know, seeing, I think, Lassen, Mount Lassen, all that are pretty. But some of the views, you know, are great, but they're also sad. It's so far, it's burned as far as I can see. But uh, the other thing that I forgot to tell you was today, my solar panel decided this break here stopped working. So that no longer works. So I guess I have to be more resourceful. Maybe I'll find another really small battery somewhere in a store and buy that. Uh, I can make it last, I just film less and I can't really edit at night and do things I need to do to stay up on the videos. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna, when I get to Chester, most likely I'm gonna send back my micro spikes, which I have said before, and they're about a pound and a half. And then, and this is uh, seven and a half, eight ounces. So, hey, we'll be lighter, right? You know, carrying the panel is not that easy. It's not that it's heavy, it's not very heavy, but it's always in the way of everything. Where I get something in the back front or the front pocket, you know, I need to get inside, I have to unhook it, hook it. Uh, careful, don't catch it on a tree, all that stuff. So, guess I'll get another one somewhere. I'm gonna send it home or maybe just fill in the garbage because I can't fix it. I don't know how to fix it. So yeah, isn't that lovely?
Okay, I made it to 2.2 miles. Uh, this is called, what's it called? Uh, Carter Creek, Carter Creek. And uh, it's uh, 0.3 down there. Uh, there's no shortcuts to it, you have to go down, but it says it's not quite as steep as the other two, so that's good. Yeah, so I have to have enough water for whatever I drink. I'm not using water, uh, this time I'm not even cold soaking, so I don't need water for that. But I need to, whatever water I need for 3.6 miles, which is a decent amount, then I, I drink a decent amount in the tent uh, before dark and during the night. And then I need enough bottle, uh, enough water for this to go another about uh, five or six miles downhill. It'll be cool in the morning. I usually hardly drink any, so I'll probably just have enough to put in my chest bottle, maybe a little bit on the side. So I unfortunately need to carry uh, two one half liter bottles and the 700 milliliters, so almost four liters. So that's almost eight pounds up the steepest part of today. So, But they keep thinking, well, it's only 3.6 miles. So, you know, just do a half mile at a time till you're done. So it is, what time is it? It's 3.39, so I think by the time I get down there and come back up, it'll be a right around 4-ish. So maybe I get to camp in uh, about 6.30, maybe 7, I don't know. Well, hopefully faster. There's periods where it's not steep, and that's where you can make time, so. All right, nothing like adding 8 pounds of water, but it's time to go 3.6 miles up Butt Mountain. Yeah, I said it. Ascended, mounted, butt mountain. All right, got an awesome spot. Not awesome with all these dead trees. There's one here, this big one. I think it's aimed perfectly on my tent. Hey guys, I'm about to eat dinner, but I thought I'd check in with you really quick. There's been enough talking, but I want to tell you about today. I did 21.6 miles exactly like yesterday. Isn't that kind of weird? 21.6, but I'm proud of myself. Yesterday I started at 6 and finished at 7.10. Today I started at 6.15 and ended at 6.15, so 12 hours. Um, the only reason why it took that long, you know, was uh, not... It was a hard day. Trust me, it was a really hard day, but it wasn't hard like yesterday, that climb I had. But the two... I had two springs that were really far off. I figured out... Um, I did about um, two and a quarter, two and a half miles that didn't count. Remember, halfway, half of those are downhill to get the water, and then you have to carry the weight up. So two and a quarter, two and a half, somewhere in there, that didn't count besides. So, you know, obviously that takes a lot of time, too. And then, you know, for me, it's like I got to filter it and get it up the mountain to where my pack, I leave my pack there near the trail. And then filter, and then just sit there and try to rest from actually going and getting water. So it was a tough day. It was warm, as always. Um, so guess what? Guess what? We are 9.5 miles from the road to get into Chester. But you know what's more exciting and kind of unusual for me is 1.3 miles in the morning is the halfway marker. So if you guys don't know, uh, well, for me, it's 26.53, but uh, basically it was always 26.50. So that would be 1,325 miles. And that is, uh, it's all downhill tomorrow, thank goodness. And uh, I have 1.3 miles. And what's neat about that is I have connected every mile to there. Even though I've skipped around and done other sections, um, every single mile I do now, I'm, con uh, I'm continuing from the Mexican border how far I've gone. Uh, I don't know the math. I haven't looked at it today. But I think it's 100, 150 miles. I'll be at 2,000 miles for me. So that's, that's going to be a huge milestone. I know what mile marker it is. I just don't know what mile marker I'm at now. But um, so I just want to tell you that. We'll get to see that tomorrow. And... It's humbling. I mean, um, until you walk that far, you don't really realize how far it is. And every day here, I haven't had an easy day yet. And, you know, there's there's some that are harder than others, but none that are easy. So uh, I'm going to have some a couple of tortillas with some salami and some hard-aged cheddar cheese on there. And actually, I uh, crumbled up some Fritos on there last night, and it was really good. Surprisingly, a little mustard on there. 
And I have some gummy bears for dessert. Anyway, thanks for watching today. I know it was a lot of talking, probably a longer video. I haven't edited it yet, but, but it was interesting. I haven't seen a single hiker in two days, not one. Anyway, thanks for listening, you guys. Uh, we'll see you in the morning. It's going to be a big day seeing the halfway marker. Bye.